Hey guys, welcome to this channel that is economics at a glance. So guys, you have uh, continuously asked for this, uh, adding this MCQ series, mock test series. So here it is. Uh, all of you know that we have completed uh, some few lectures of production economics. So here is the first series of the MCQs regarding those lectures only. Okay, let's get started guys. See, the first question here is stage one ends at a point where, and the options are APP, that is our average pro physical product is equals to MPP, that is marginal physical product. And the second option is APP greater than MPP or APP less than MPP. So what it will be? What do you think? Stage one ends. That will be point APP equals to MPP. And that is the point where APP is maximum, right? Okay. Coming to the second question, among the three stages studied, which stage has been considered as a rational stage? This is very common question in every competitive exams, whether it will be a first stage, second stage or third stage, which stage has been considered as the rational stage? That is, yes, obviously that will be second stage, right? Okay, so coming to the third number question, see, the relationship between the MVP, that is marginal value product, and MIC, that is marginal input cost, in the third stage. See, I have told you in our tabular form, what is the exact relationship between the various parameters in first stage, second stage, and third stage, okay? You just need to remember that table and these questions are very easy for you then. If you still have not seen those lectures, you can easily go to that lectures through the playlist link I have added in the comment box. Okay, so uh, see, the relationship between the MVP and MIC in the third stage, it will be MVP less than MIC because we know that in third stage, it is a stage of negative returns, right? So everything negative. So obviously uh, compared to our input cost, our value product, marginal value product, it will be lesser. So marginal value product here, it will be less than marginal input cost. Coming to the fourth number question, elasticity of production in stage two lies with the value. Well, elasticity value I have described for all those three stages, see, so in stage two, it will be zero to one. Why zero to one? Because stage two ends at a point where MPP is equals to zero, right? So elasticity formula is MPP by APP. So MPP is zero means total value of elasticity, it will be zero. And stage two starts at a point where MPP equal to APP, right? Here we have seen APP equal to MPP. That is stage one ends and stage two starts. So both of these will be equal means it will be one. Okay, so stage two starts with the elasticity value of one and ends with the elasticity value of zero. So its value will be lying between zero and one. Understood? Coming to the fifth number question, marginal product increases and reaches to its maximum in which stage? Well, we know that the maximum point of marginal MPP curve, it will be inflection point, right? So inflection point will come in the first stage we have seen in the graph. So marginal product increases and reaches to its maximum in the first stage. Coming to the sixth number question, TPP starts increasing at a decreasing rate at a point where MPP is maximum. We have seen that TPP starts increasing at a decreasing rate. I have told you up to the inflection point, TPP will increase at an increasing rate. After the inflection point, TPP will increase, but in a decreasing rate. And the inflection point is the point where MPP is maximum. Okay, getting the point? Coming to the seven number question, the shape of APP curve is dash. See, I have told you all the cost curves, they have average U-shaped curve. So the exact reverse is of the product curves. Like if average cost curve, it is U-shaped, that means average product curve, it will be inverted U-shape, okay? Next coming to eight number question, when TPP is maximum, okay? When TPP is maximum and 
ATP decreases. It will happen in third stage. Okay. So what will be the respective MPP value? Okay. When TPP is maximum and TPP decreases, what will be the MPP value? What it will be? We all know that when TPP is maximum, MPP is zero. That means first and second options are not there. Right? It is vanished. We will choose from option three and option four. So what it will be? When TPP is maximum, MPP is zero. TPP decreases and MPP negative. Very good. So this will be the answer. When TPP is maximum, TPP decreases. MPP value will be zero and negative. And coming to nine number question, elasticity of production is calculated by using the formula. Well, just now I have told the formula. It is MPP divided by APP. If you know the formula to calculate the elasticity, you can calculate elasticity at any stages. In stage one, stage two, stage three, without mugging up the value. If you know, it is the calculated by MPP divided by APP. Then coming to stage uh, tenth number question, stage one is known as the stage of dash returns, whether it is increasing, decreasing, positive or negative. Well, it is stage of increasing returns. Why? Because variable factor are less. Okay, the more and more variable factor you go on adding, you will get more and more return. That's why stage one is always the stage of increasing returns. Then coming to question number eleven, when APP and MPP intersect each other, then dash is maximum. Which will be maximum? Obviously, APP will be maximum, and that is the point where stage two starts. Okay, stage two starts. We know that when it will be when APP equal to MPP. That means APP and MPP are intersecting at that point. And at that point, remember, APP is your maximum. Okay. So stage two starts at a point where APP is your maximum. Coming to twelve number question, stage one is known as stage of increasing returns because just now I have told this answer. What will be the answer? Fixed factor is greater than the variable factor because variable factor is less. And fixed factor is more, and with more amount of fixed factor, when you go on adding more and more variable factor, you are getting more and more returns. That's why it is called increasing return because the input is less. You uh, more the more and more you will go on adding, the more and more return you will get out of it. Okay, that's why it is a stage of increasing return. Then coming to the uh, question number thirteen. stage with declining tpp and app and negative mpp see negative mpp is only occurred in which stage third stage so we don't need about we don't need to worry about this declining tpp and app negative mpp means it will be third stage okay then question number 14 resource combination and substitution it is concerned with which relationship see resource substitution resource means input and resource combination input combination and input substitution well it will be concerned with obviously factor factor relationship because input combination to input will be combined in such a way that the same amount of output will be produced right i so on so here it will be factor factor relationship coming to the 15 number question see factor product it deals with the management problem that what it is what is the management problem as if you have remembered i have covered all these questions in a single table in that lecture in the lecture of factor 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 product and product product if you have remembered the table you can easily answer any kind of question if it is direct or also indirect you can like easily do the problems okay so coming to the 15 number problem factor product deals with the management problem that is how much to produce okay how much to produce as you have remember in difference curve right then coming to the 16 number question what is or oh sorry the choice indicator for product product relationship has been dash like what choice indicator we have used in product product relationship well price ratio it is there 
substitution ratio it is there substitution between uh, products it has been done price is everywhere so i think it will be both uh, one and two yes yes both one and two okay right absolutely correct then coming to the 17 number question see the objective lies with the factor factor relationship it is that what is the objective see i have covered everything in that one table if you have remembered that one table you can answer every question over here so the objective lies with the factor factor relationship factor and factor that means we are concerning about the input only when you are uh, concerned about the input you will always try to minimize your cost because with input cost is associated not return return and profit is associated with the product so as here it is factor and factor the objective will be obviously cost minimization okay next question number 17 the changes in the production quantity uh, it will be both fixed and variable cost only variable cost only fixed cost or none of this well the answer will be only variable cost then uh, coming to the 18 number question what happens when the production is shut down like suppose production is stop what happens like fixed cost increases variable cost decline variable cost becomes zero and fixed cost becomes zero what will be the answer production is shut down then what will be the answer well the answer will be variable cost becomes zero because the fixed cost it will be there whether you are doing the production or not it will be there fixed cost always lies that's why we use the term intercept okay but if your production is shut down then your variable cost will be zero okay coming to the 19 number question see the alternative name of opportunity cost what is opportunity cost the cost you have sacrificed was the next best alternative okay so there are many uh, uh, like synonyms of opportunity cost so among these options which could be yes absolutely correct economic cost so economic cost will be the alternative name of opportunity cost then coming to the 20 20 number question isoquant is otherwise called dash it is a very common question there are many synonyms i have mentioned in the isoquant lecture if still you have not seen that lecture you can go to the playlist i have mentioned in the description box okay so isoquant means equal quantity quant quantity iso equal equal quantity of product it will be obviously so equal product curve it will be okay equal product curve isoquant is otherwise called equal product curve coming to the 21 number question in isoquant the technical substitution in the production function it is assumed to be of variable proportion obviously because in isoquant we are uh, like technical substitution will be between the two inputs right so it will be obviously in variable proportion coming to the 22 number question see isoquant curve is convex in nature because mrts mrts means marginal rate of technical substitution is decreasing okay decreasing that is why uh, i have not mentioned here okay here the answer is decreasing okay so uh, isoquant curve is convex to nature because mrts is decreasing option i that is decreasing that's why it is convex in nature then coming to the to the 23rd number question that two iso product curves dash intersect each other it is a very common question and very silly question also because if you know iso product curve what it is you can easily answer it okay two iso product curves we know that they never intersect with each other okay so here is your answer that is never intersect with each other so 24th number question we'll see now higher iso product curves represent dash level of output we know that the properties of isoquant the higher iso product curve it will represent higher level of output the more higher iso product you will represent it will represent more number of output so here the answer will be higher okay here also answer is not shown okay see the answer will be here the first option that is higher okay 
Then the last number question, when there is no substitution between the two inputs, rather complementarity, okay? There will be no substitution, only complementary relationship is there between them. So then the isoquant will be having which kind of shape? Well, I have already, this answer has been came. It will be right angled, okay? It will, like in general, in average commodity, in general commodity, we know isoquant is convex to origin. The shape of the isoquant is convex. But if in the case there is no, not at all a single substitution between the two inputs, because in isoquant what we are studying, a substitution between the two inputs. So if there is no, not at all a single substitution, only complementarity, then isoquant will exist, but the shape will be right angled. Okay, understood? Okay, now the answers came. Yes, higher the isoproduct curves, it represent higher level of output and the isoquant, uh, isoquant curve is convex to origin because MRTS is decreasing. I hope every uh, MCQs will be clearly understood by all of you. If you have still have any kind of doubt, you can mention in the comment box, no problem with that. Very soon we will come with our second mock test series Till then, stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.